2007 started fast for San Diego State's Kelvin Davis, and he quickly emerged as a shooting threat. During the first half of the season, he averaged 11 and a half points per game. But as the year progressed, his playing time began to dwindle, and his effectiveness decreased. Kind of felt kind of like sick and and like um, tired all the time. I mean, like uh, I play play as much as I used to. Like you probably get like 20, 25 minutes. After I got sick and got tired, I started playing like probably 15 to 20 minutes at that sometimes. When Florida rolled around, I kind of like told coach at the conference tournament, uh, coach and the trainer, I mean, like, I need to see a doctor go to the hospital because, like, something really wrong. It was almost like it was gone into the muscles, and he was also having a lot of fatigue, and um, I used some night sweats as well, um, and it was clearly impacting his game. And he was diagnosed with um, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now, Hodgkin's lymphoma is a disease of the white blood cells that are, that are in the lymph nodes um, throughout the body. Like, well, it's like a 90% chance that, you know, it's, it's, you're going to get through it. In this particular case, involved the use of chemotherapy and radiation treatment that follows after the chemotherapy. With chemo, like, some, some things were, like, will turn your stomach, turn foods, like, uh, Chinese food. It was bad, but it wasn't bad as I thought, so I just took it as a challenge. I remember I was in the hospital bed, and Coach Fisher came to see me, and that's the first thing I said to him. <laughs> I'll be back next year, like that, and he kind of laughed and, and smiled. He understood what needed to be done. It was sort of like, my life will go on. This is just a little detour. It was, it was really a tower of strength. Davis spent the entire offseason and much of the fall 2008 semester undergoing chemo and radiation to treat the lymphoma. Well, I got stopped with chemo, then you know, November comes and right before the season starts, it's kind of like, well, you got radiation now, so you took another step back, so it's kind of like, wow. So then the whole month of November, I was like, you know, going back and forth from radiation to practice and coming in late and, and trying to do both, and I got tired after a while. It made him feel good to come in, get a sweat, and feel like he could still do what he loved to do. It was somewhat a carrot in front of his nose saying, I've done this since I could walk. I want to continue to do it as long as I can. I want to play. I want to be with my teammates. To be here and to have something to do and have a few hours a day to just to take your mind off of the chemotherapy and the doctor's visits or the medications, it has to be a plus for him. I'm just going to work hard and this, this will be out the next question is to get back out there. So go out there and compete and be how I used to be. Now more than halfway into this season, Davis is back on the court contributing and taking each day as it comes. Getting my strength back and doing stuff I used to do, so it was like the doctor was right, you know, it takes time for your body to heal up, so it's just slowly but surely, you know, coming along. He wishes that it, it didn't happen to him, but I don't know of anyone that could have dealt with it, handled it, lived with it in a fashion better than what he's done. Right now, I just look at it as like you know something that that happened to me and I got over it, and I could just get back to just doing my regular uh, my regular thing I do every day, just having fun and playing basketball. I kind of learned a valuable lesson about like just the whole the whole out like output on life and how you just go out there and just uh, live every day like it's your last, not like the last day you live, but have fun and enjoy it. So you have no regrets that that day comes.